wear more armor on my crotch than your entire unit combined. How did you think this was going to end? Glad that stealth upgrade I gave you is coming in handy, but don't abuse it. You'd think natural selection would produce smart raiders who would avoid power armor like the plague. Who are they? Judging by the overabundance of gear and shortage of training, they're gunners. Yep, see the marked skull? Nobody really knows where they came from, but everyone agrees they're bad news. They're raiders with fancy guns and weapons. Instead of junk and pipe guns, they have military-grade gear. Nothing like what I'm packing, but they have standard combat armor in all three flavors. Proper firearms, even heavy weapons. And they use actual tactics. No, Edna, not tactics like us. I train with the Brotherhood, and they aren't a raider tribe. For one, they don't rob people. Well, sometimes they do. Look, I know the Brotherhood's history isn't stellar. They have their fair share of sins, but the Gunners are far, far worse. Do you remember that battle we saw from afar, near the old Quincy? The Gunners hit it full strength. The town didn't stand a chance. It's part of their M.O., their modus operandi. That also includes kidnapping, murder, robbery, and other antisocial activities. Generally, they don't take prisoners, and when they do, you don't want to know what they do to them. Suffice it to say, what they do to their captives is enough for local folks to take no prisoners either. Wastelanders kill gunners with extreme prejudice. The tattoos on their faces, I think they denote rank, make neat targets or so I heard. Edna! Judging by the coats and metal, Edna, that must be the forged, led by a fella named Slag. And while we saw some of that junk the raiders passed for proper power armor, that raider has a suit of proper T-45. The forged are insane, more so than the rest. From what I know, ritual mutilation and branding is part of their initiation. If you make trouble, you're fed to the furnace in historic sagas. <sighs> Looks like they've got themselves a bunch of new recruits. Gunners could work, especially for a war band from outside the Commonwealth that's hurting for new blood. Are there other raiders? Well, there's about a dozen tribes here from what I've learned, give or take a few. It constantly shifts. The largest might be Bosco's group vying for control of Boston's downtown, operating from the ruins of DB Technical. Crazy Bosco's been warring with the rest of the raider tribes in and around Boston. Those outside the city seem to steer clear of them, having enough trouble of their own. Like that pair of tribes, Red Tourette's at the old ration stockpile, and uh, Tower Tim? Tom? the Beantown Brewery. They're at each other's throats, the former for her sister, the latter for the food for hundreds of thousands of Bostonians. Must seem infinite when you only have a couple of dozen souls at your disposal. They won't work together because violence is in their blood. See that floating city over there? Libertalia, ran by former Minutemen. Wire's the name of their leader, and they keep fighting Bosco and Judge Zeller for control over Boston, Bunker Hill, and just to keep the other from becoming too strong. Bunker Hill's rich enough to pay them all off, being a trading town sitting on a crossroads, like a fat spider at the center of a web, and the raiders keep the pressure. That Zeller, 
He's apparently fond of torturing people to death just because he can. Cutting out tongues, eyes, and hands for the smallest of offenses. Robots aren't safe either. Ever heard of the Rust Devils? To an iBot, they're the boogeyman. They prowl the Commonwealth in search of robots just like you to cannibalize for parts or press into their robotic army. Operate out of the old underground vehicle hangars at Fort Hagen, still full of heavy tanks and IFBs. If they ever figure out how to make them run. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'll be honest with you, Edna. Nowhere is truly safe. Some dress theirs in the guise of religion. Others are just straight-up madmen. There's this island, Bar Harbor in Maine, where you get both. Trappers is the term for those lost to the radioactive fog, who broke and became almost feral. Some were violent from the start. Others, well, they became such when they lost hope. And then there's the children of the atom, poisonous cult if there ever was one, devoted to spreading radiation throughout the land. They devote themselves to this kooky god of theirs, Adam, to spread his light and glory. Nuclear war and bombs are holy objects to them. If given the chance, they would detonate them all over again. That radioactive fog covering much of Far Harbor is their work, and word is, they are growing increasingly violent after their old confessor died and a new fundamentalist appeared. You know what's the worst part? There was a nuclear submarine base on Far Harbor servicing a vessel designated USS Democracy. If these fanatics have access to nuclear weapons, I hesitate to think what they can achieve. It's bad enough that they spread their message here, attacking caravans and occupying strategic positions, while killing everyone who comes near with their gamma guns and dirty grenades. But fanatics with nukes, USMC armor, and weapons? What can you do? You need heroes to take care of that. But that is a story for another day. <laughs>